it's going down. There is no turning back now. I'm taking the Subaru 1200 miles down south for an adventure, fishing, camping, exploring along the way. Let's get this sand going just like any other. My car is all packed up with the gear that I need. I'm gonna leave it up to the fish gods to decide what we're doing. Right now on the trip, I'm about two hours away from fishing with one rod, and then after that, I'm two hours away from the camping site. So still four hours of driving left today, but at least we get to take some casts along the way. I didn't think that was gonna happen, so I'm stoked for that. And it's gonna be fun camping out somewhere in Maryland. I don't even know where it is exactly, but it's a national park campsite, and should be a, a pretty good vibe. All right, guys, so the dynamic fishing duo is back somewhere down here in Maryland on my road trip down to Florida and we're at one of one rod's local waters so you know we're probably catching some good bass and we're thinking about doing a challenge right one rod and i got the carl's bait and tackle box we're gonna open up the box see what we're dealing with and our thought is that we're gonna draft a few baits out of here and whoever catches the biggest fish within this fishing trip is gonna be the winner so that's right should we roast it open yeah we should here you want to do yeah, the honors sure thing oh this thing is sealed good look at look at this they got uh, a hole unless you uh, yeah this is sealed with some official well. stuff yep Actually, I usually don't see it feel this good, to be honest, but yeah. we got it open here. All, All right. right, first look right here. Got some soft plastics, a vile bug to start off. Have you ever fished one of these? Uh, you know, I have. Yeah, it's a really great uh, crawl bait. You can fish it a variety of ways. I've even fished it on top of weed before and caught fish on it. Oh, that's looking good out of this pond. It got a lot of weed cover, and one rod was saying it's only four to five feet deep at most in this entire lake. So this thing should do pretty well. The idea is we're going to do a draft of the lures after we go through them, right? Exactly. One right. by one? Yep, that's right. All right, so another soft plastic, the Game Changer Eliminator. Oh, who's going to get eliminated from the competition? I guess time will tell, but you fished this one too? I have. Yeah, I've, I own them. I haven't fished them because they're kind of interesting looking. I've always been a little bit just waiting for the right moment to fish it, and I guess that moment's going to be now. I guess so, yeah, we're going to have to. Oh my, do they eat top water in here? Top oh, water frogs? No, definitely top water frogs. Yeah, that's going to be number one in the draft, I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. The most fun too. The filthy frog, Guggen Squad. We got a member of the Guggen Squad right here. It's crazy. That's right. <laughs> and I think, that, I mean, I'm going to give you first honors on this draft because you're the guest here. Okay. I'm going to guess that you're going to pick that frog first. I think it might have to. Plus, it, not only will it catch fish, but I think this is going to be the most fun lure in here. Three more left. Yep. Oh, the bull shad. I've heard of these before. Never fished one. They're looking good. Mike Bukas. Uh, it's a great bait. Now, this is a very weedy lake, so maybe not the ideal conditions for this bait, but that one does catch big fish, so if you want to risk it, you mean, that might catch you the winning fish. Yeah, for real, because we're going for biggest fish, not the most amount, or however, if you can catch them on every single bait, so. That one could be a good contender. The Trash Master Mini Skirt Jig Heavy Cover. So, I mean, we do have heavy cover. This one's looking pretty good, too. Is it weedless? can't tell yeah so on this bait it actually is different than your traditional jig it's gonna have an extra wide gap hook and, and so you can actually thread on a plastic to rig it completely weedless as opposed to a regular oh. jig where the hook is exposed dude that's that's freaking sweet yep oh, here's a look yeah. at the last one oh that one's uh -oh. gonna be a no-no <laughs> that one's not gonna work here the last draft pick. i don't know about this one <laughs> the blade bait pretty much double blade you got the main blade and then a little spinner on the back yeah, this one, this is a good lure though. I'm it actually is. kind of stoked yeah. to have this. A lake trout will munch that. I mean, you've experienced the, the Jersey lake trout bite, oh, right? Oh yeah. I mean, I've seen, yeah, I fished, uh, what's that lake called? Round Valley. That's the one, yeah, that one's been, yeah, that, that, that bait works great over there, actually. So one Rod's giving me the first pick, yeah. which is real nice, because we're at his home waters, I he's the, fished this yeah. lake before. I've got the advantage here, so of course, Sky should have first pick. That's the only, only way to make it slightly fair here. Yeah. So, I mean, we kind of called before. I think the number one pick, it's got to gotta go with the top water filthy frog. Yeah, that's a great pick, man. It's going to be fun, too. Plus, I got, I got my medium light with a uh, straight braid. Okay. You guys know me, I usually just always rock straight braid. Mm -hmm. Top water frog will go perfect with this. There you uh, go. Frog to go. All right, let's see, now for me, definitely not gonna opt for these guys first. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to go for, I'm going for biggest fish here. Yeah. I gotta go with this trash master jig because it's clearly oh. gonna be a good bait to fish in these weedy waters. I'm fine with either plastic. Yeah. Can you throw this one, tie this guy on. I respect it. It's a good choice. That's so I guess big decision for you here, dude. <sighs> it's tough because, like, you know, I'm thinking right now that the choice is like, we either leave the soft plastics up up for debate, or 
I go with the with the hard bait. I'm thinking we were talking about before this bait might catch one of the biggest fish of the day and the plastics are pretty similar. So I think I'm gonna go with the bull shad just to contrast this frog that I'm fishing. So I have like a subsurface bait and then the top water. That's nice, that's actually Should be pretty a move. smart. Yeah. And then I'll automatically get a soft plastic. So. You will get a soft plastic. Uh, I'm gonna pick the one that I'm gonna, that I feel is gonna go best with this Trash Master. Yeah. And you know what? Hmm. I did say I have not fished this yet. I've always been a little skeptical of the design. Today's gonna be the day where Ooh. I pull out the game changer, E-Eliminator. We're gonna oh. bring these together right here. I think one, one rod's on to something. He's trying to eliminate me out of this competition, but I'm not gonna let it slide because I was actually, I was gonna pick the vile bug, so. Oh, that worked out well. Thank you. All right, so perfect. Then, so you're gonna get the, so there's two baits left. Or there's one bait left. One bait. So oh, one I bait. Oh, I got the, uh, yeah, I got the old blade bait here. Okay, well, right. I'm not gonna throw it too much, but I might bomb a cast in there, you know, um, turn it well. back, maybe get something, get on the board Dude, with that. you know what? I caught, not my bit, not one of my biggest largemouth at all, but I caught a solid three pounder, chucking a blade bait out and ripping it back, like, yeah. faster than you could imagine, yep. hit it on, on top, so oh, it yeah. could work. It's just gonna take one lure to get this challenge done, so anything's yeah. gonna work. That's right. We're gonna do, we have it set for one hour. Sky's got a busy schedule ahead, going all the way down to Florida, so you ready yeah. to get to it, man? I'm ready, let's yep. do it. Good luck. I'm starting off with the blade bait, something you wouldn't expect in a shallow weedy lake, but I'm actually gonna bomb it towards the middle. Maybe the bass are hanging in the slightly deeper water and I'm just gonna try to get on the board here. We got one hour. If I get one fish, I'll be feeling real confident in this challenge. Right, let's do a little time check to see what we're doing with timing wise so you guys can have a reference on the time. Right now it's 545. So until around 645, we'll be fishing and we'll update you with the time. But honestly, I guess it's just gonna be every man for himself, the fullest of sends to try to win this one my video coming tomorrow is a 1v1 challenge which i did win and just to let you know scott oh, I'm un i think i'm undefeated in 1v1 challenges this year oh so we'll see if you can uh break my streak here man man you're talking some big talk right now i don't know <laughs> tying on the filthy frog i think that's what it's called this thing is looking good real cool coloration to it and uh, if you're wondering it's freaking hot out here just about one of the hottest days of the year what is it like 96 today yeah, 90, literally 90, feels like over, heat index over 100. Oh boy, okay, so first cast going out with a frog. I'll try it down the bank. All right, so the phone overheated. I don't know how much footage we just got, but one rod switching up. Take yep. a look at this jig. So this right here is the Trash Master plus the Eliminator. If you look at it, it's a very different jig design, screw lock hook, extra wide gap hook, and this is a completely hidden 100% weedless presentation right here. That's a nice jig. It's looking real good. You're in trouble, man. You're in trouble already. I think so. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon. I don't know if I have a wide gap hook. Let me check in my box. I didn't bring all the bass setups that I thought. I had a box with wide gap hooks and stuff, but... Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tie on this hook with the vile bug and uh, see if we can do some damage. I don't have any wide gap hooks. I forgot my bass box in the car. Just one of those days, but we're making it happen with what we got. That's the most important thing. is about two hours from here all right time to move on to spot number two we're thinking about hitting the dam that's on this side of the lake and there's a little spillway that comes out of the lake so hopefully some moving water should be the key for the lethargic fish on a hot day like this what do you say yeah i mean it's super hot out here we just gotta get i think one bite might win it to be honest yeah. and moving water maybe some deeper water down there that might be the ticket you know what i agree and maybe we should follow that osprey oh the phone's about to start recording he's heading, he's heading down where we're going so you know that's a good sign all right so michael and i just made it down to the second spot of the day it's looking good we got the dam of the lake current flowing in so the oxygenated water hopefully we'll have these summertime bass that are pretty lethargic feeding up in a good way and one rod was saying his buddy caught a five pounder down here he caught a three pounder down here and uh on a frog right that's right on a frog all right sick so we're just gonna set the camera up start fishing and see what happens tried fishing down here it seems like the water is still maybe too shallow temperature is too hot for the fish so we decided we're going to trek it up there to the dam that should be where the money sauce is hopefully fingers crossed and uh what are your thoughts on the rest of the tournament you know we're running out of time you guys get back on the road i got a got a special surprise to take care of at home we're going to enter sudden death mode whoever catches a fish is the winner of this contest okay sounds good and michael is undefeated in this oh no I, I should have seen that coming. <sighs> and it is looking good up here. Hey. Definitely tight on time. Yeah. You're gonna choose over there? Mm, I mean, you can choose wherever you want. I'm gonna try to get over here without falling, hopefully. 
All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna set the camera on the rock. We're gonna fish. We're gonna try to catch the first fish of the day. So whoever catches one wins. And that's, that's pretty intense. Oh, you're going full send mode over there. All right, bro, you've got one right here. First bass of the day. We went into sudden death. Michael full sent it down here, ninja mode. And then I somehow landed the first fish of the day. We're gonna kick it back to regular style, biggest fish of the day wins, because now we're catching fish by the dam. So deeper water in the summer, I guess better for, better for the bass fishing. Let's get him back, ready Shy? Yep, I got you, man. And a little toss. Yep, Woo. bang. Oh, nice. Yeah, I give that an eight out of 10 dive right there. All right guys, I got some, I got some grounds to catch up on. I'm in a pretty good spot right here. Let's see if, uh, see if I can get one fish. Crazy jump down. Oh my God. Dude, what is this? What the it's heck is even, this? It's not even that big. It got caught in the weed. Holy I, cow. I thought I had a giant. Oh, dude. Uh, that got I, my heart racing. I thought, it Let's hit me, go. It hit me big. I don't want to break my line. I got an ultra light line here. What pound test you have? Uh, six pound line right oh, here. Oh, you beat me. That's a bigger <laughs> one for sure. Yeah, but we did enter sudden death mode. So I would have to call it more of a draw right here, bro. I agree. All right, but right, I, oh, I think this guy might have beat yours by a, a t, t bit, tad bit. That's a nice, that's a nice bass for midsummer on a yep. tough day like this. Anything <laughs> in Maryland this time of year is a good fish, dude. Absolutely, and you guys should have seen. I mean, one rod did it first. The the trek down here, it's quite a drop. I, I ended up running over it because I thought you had like a six pounder on. <laughs> I wish, man. I wish. <laughs> nice, but dude. Hey, we both avoided the skunk. That's what it's all about. Yep. Probably get scored. How many? I wonder how many minutes left we got the fish. Oh, we, got, we got some time left. Let's do a little time check. All right, 6:22, so 20 minutes left. You know what? We each caught one. We're gonna call it even. Now we're gonna edit the second sudden death round right here. Next one wins. All right, so Let's do it. Luckily, the phone captured that. We've been having te technical difficulties, but now we're back on it. So, hey man, I might go get my rod and fish over here with you. Yeah, come on. You can tell the fish in the. Just about ready to wrap up the trip, but we have the dam left to fish on the way back. So we're gonna try that out. And now it is sudden death round two. So whoever lands the fish wins the competition. Cause yeah, that's what we decided on. So ready to go? Yep, we're gonna go back up uh, up the wall here. A little bit of a climb. <laughs> the average sender probably wouldn't go with something like this. I would, I would imagine. Well, this is your forte. This is my forte. You guys saw Michael on the cliff when we were trout fishing. This is nothing for him. Ooh, all right. Can we hold the rod for you, bro? Um, I mean, I'll, I'll do it with the rod. With the rod, all make, right, make it a little more. Uh, all right, let me get, uh, let me get an angle on you. All right, let's see it, man. So normal rock climbers don't have to think about this, but when you're fishing, you gotta sometimes do something like this. Ah, oh, yeah. That's way smarter. That's way better than what I did. And use that height advantage too. <laughs> all right. That was way more efficient. I respect you for that, dude. <laughs> you gotta work smarter. Whoa. Uh oh, I'm stuck. You don't want to. You're not trying to go in with the bass. We're trying to catch them. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, we made it. A little treacherous, but the send continues as always. 70 yards to fish, so we're just gonna work down real quick, try to catch the last fish of the day. I don't know if you guys caught that, but one rod said it's around six feet deep here, which is gonna be a big advantage because during the hot time of day, I think most of the big fish are gonna start cruising around the deeper water if they're looking to feed. Some fish are just way too lethargic to even feed but we're looking for those mondo bass that have an appetite right now Six thirty-six. 10 more minutes left i'm getting beat by the heat <laughs> hydration is key yeah, i think it might Dude. be some some uh, water spots on the bottom the savior fountain Check it. it. It's good. Oh, dude. After you, my friend. Are you sure? Yeah, you go first. Okay. You're not used to this kind of heat, yeah, I don't no. think. Scale from one to ten, what's your confidence right now? Right now, for us to get one more? Yeah. I think it was like a solid seven and a half right here. Oh, heck yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going to set the camera down and start fishing. Whew. All right, guys. It would be even more real if it's still recording. I would check that. It's recording. Oh, we're, wow. we're good. That's going to wrap up our little fishing trip at One Rod's Local Water. 
what a fun day out here is it got hot i think we're pretty fortunate to have landed those two fish and it's just good to reconnect out here on the water do some fishing absolutely man i'm looking forward to seeing those florida vids it's gonna be epic i appreciate it. the trip's just beginning i'm glad i got to start off on the right foot and catch some fish with my good friend and fellow youtuber so uh until next time and we are yeah we are. can i get in it of course this is the sky life hello <laughs> what's, what's your name your youtube uh the sky life oh the sky life yeah get in it. what's your name Bobby. my name's adriana adriana do you fish no i don't oh but man. i'm going to That's what I'm start today, yeah, yeah. Got, bass today, got a man. couple bass so it was a good day you fish right i've fished before oh. that's sweet well if we were fishing longer i'd say we could all fish but we got pretty torched out there, so yeah. we're going we're gonna to head out. You guys out. look like you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Skyline. The Sky Life. The Sky Life. And yeah. his channel is One Rod, One Reel. One Rod, One Reel. He's real. pretty famous. Really? Yeah. I got uh, 1.5 million subs. No way. <laughs> yeah, I've been very fortunate. <laughs> yeah. He's on his way. He'll be on, on my way. way, so. Yeah. All right, see you, Adriana. Have a good one. Just like that, wrapping up the day getting subs out here meeting <laughs> fans so always good vibes so <laughs> those are good vibes I, I don't see that happen too often to be honest with you. yeah seriously she's like are you vlogging that was funny but until next time keep on getting out there keep on promoting the positivity of fishing keep on sending it no matter what what a way to end off a fishing trip in insane heat we finally got some ice cold water and stopped here at Kaba to get a little bit of a Kickstarter for the rest of the trip. So we're gonna get down to the camping site. I'm about an hour and a half away from there. And I'm just thankful to fish with one rod, reconnect with him. It was a fun trip. Now let's get refueled. And now I'm driving into no man's land. I Turn left. Like, it's looking like a sick place. It's gonna be awesome to wake up here tomorrow and continue the adventure. So I'm checking out from today's send. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, whew, I'm tired. It's 11:30. Made a couple wrong turns. Actually, the GPS is bugging out really bad, but I'm making it to the campsite. I'm camping at Oak Ridge Campground in, uh, I think I'm in Virginia now, I don't know. But I'm driving about 10 miles through the forest right now to get to the campsite, and it's looking super epic back here. So I'm excited to wake up here tomorrow. Thanks for tuning into this episode. It's only going to get better from here. I'm not going to be as tired. It's going to be more solid days and full fishing exploring. Today was kind of just getting down to the campsite. So until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep fishing, keep on sending it. See you in the next episode on the Skylife. All right, just like that, I got the tent set up. Got both my little sleeping pads in case one of them deflates. Got my sleeping bag all set up. It's like 12 o'clock now, so I'm gonna go to bed and wake up in the morning and see what this adventure has in store for us. I think I'm in a really beautiful place and I'm just really tired, so see you guys in the morning.